I'm here live with the organizer of the Crestone Energy Fair. <laughs> this man is incredible, Nick Navaris. Thanks, Simon. This is the smoothest. This is the smoothest running, uh, most uplifting, uh, inclusive. I don't even know what to say. It's like I sometimes feel like not a little wanted here, but this is a this is a pretty good fair. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Simon. So how how are all aspects going? Because you're the organizer right. with the home tours. Yeah, the home tours have been wildly successful. You know, we have them at eight and one o'clock uh, both days. Yesterday we had the uh, finished homes. Today we have the unfinished homes, um, and we're uh, you know people are lining up to go see those we have right now the health and wellness panel starting off yeah so we have um six different people in different aspects of health and wellness talking about you know how you can really stay healthy and active without certain things that the government's pushing for. <laughs> <laughs> well awesome is it do you think it's one of the highest attended i mean it's definitely the highest yeah this is a we pretty over uh, 1500 people yesterday Fantastic. and uh hopefully we'll have the same today yeah the weather's absolutely beautiful uh we have music and um and uh, speakers from twelve, from nine to nine p.m. Uh, the band tonight is going to be sick. Diamond is going to be speaking today. Yes. Um, you know, it's really, it's going to be a really special day again. And if you're in within earshot of this place, come down because it's worth the effort. It's a really. Cool and then the after party. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. <laughs> That's in my dome. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> so we're going to just go around. I'll show you some of the stuff going on here, including hi, hi. Leah. Hi. And there's the uh, first raffle winner. My, my jewelry debut. So what do you want to say about that? Oh, I'm just, it was my debut of my jewelry. I'll have lots more inventory in the future. If you're interested, I do commissions also. Get in touch. She's way too, she's out of your price, price league. <laughs> there's merch, it's cool merch this year. The zippies, zip hoodies. Unless they're all sold. I might grab one of these. Look at that. Oh, if you want that size, probably not. <laughs> cool. Merch Central. Yeah, I don't know who I'm talking to, but hi, I'm Afton. Come see us at the merch booth. Lots of good stuff. We got some mugs, free pamphlets today for your event schedule, stickers, hats, lots of good stuff. You guys are hooked up. So what we have is a lot of art, arts here and uh, local artisans showing their art. There is a local, really unique local company here in Crestone, Sound Healing, and it's called Mana Stone. You can look them up on the internet and they make steel tongue drums out of old propane tanks. This one's a floating variety, so you can bring it into a hot spring with you. So pretty cool stuff here coming right out of Crestone. And I think that's a pretty cool thing coming out of uh, this town. This is our local Viking. He just walks around and protects everything. And just people stay away from him. They've got some panels going on. Hey! Arietta. Oppenheimer Ranch. Nice to see you. And one of our fans is here selling. Yeah, so thank you. Do you want to say something? Um, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for and you and Rex. Um, wow, that's nice. That gave me the courage to get out there and do something with myself. So here I am. I'm making gemstone jewelry for everybody and feel the power of the stone. Um, the arrowheads are on fire. I just had to put that one down. Yeah, um, a gentleman, I think he knows you. He stopped over at you. I told him go ahead and throw his stuff up here. And uh, we'll do a tandem since he couldn't get a vendor table. Oh, cool. So um, just reaching out. Um, we'll be willing to wrap these in a copper wire and make them really pretty and fancy. So this is Rev Red Wolf's arrowheads. And then you'll wrap them in your jewelry? Mm -hmm. That's pretty badass. Yeah. So custom work done on, on demand if you want. Um, that's nice. Look at that. That's Snowflake Obsidian. 
community health systems, towers. Wow, I think a lot of people will buy these today. You just need some people to come here, huh? I do. I had a couple Personally, sales yesterday, so it's just a matter of people saving their money for the last day. Well, yeah. So hopefully I'll an avid gardener and get them taken out. That's cool. Homemade? Huh? Homemade? Yes. Uh, recycled, refurbished. Beautiful. Yeah, that's what I do. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys. And she's the mother of two So thank you. A lot of jewelry. That's a free store. Everything's free. Most people like that. This is like the... This is the copper lady. Are you David? I am. I am a member of your site. Oh, site. wow. From uh, Philadelphia area. Oh, cool. That's where I grew up. Cinnamon. New Jersey. Uh, how do you say it? Uh, Pentagon Mart. Oh, yeah. I remember that as a kid. <laughs> yep. Pretty cool. Transplant. So, anyway, I make copper and I paint on... Mirrors. How much are they painted mirrors? And I'm Connie Lingus in your chat. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Connie Lingus is at the Crestone Energy Fair. Now you can connect it. Yeah. Re re really connected, baby. Really cool mirrors. There's Nathan, and he wasn't here yesterday because he feels shunned by the... Having fun at the farm. Shunned by the community. The farm. Oh. Nah, nah. And, uh, just, just the powers that be. Copper and it's, I weave it. So where do you live now? From... I'm in the metro area, Denver. Oh, I Jesus. Weird, so I came down here to be a my first time. How's it working out? Beautiful. How's it working out? In the forest. How's the crest? How much for one of these? Uh, these are 25. Oh, I thought it's like the whole stick. No, you can, but I, I have one for uh, you and Leah. You can pick one up. Great. Oh, I'll tell her to come meet, come see you. All right, we're filming the fair, so. For, uh, Ransom and also. Con Connie Lingus, I will be back to see you and let me finish up uh, my you. tour. Do it. We'll catch up with you soon. Are you that's pretty cool a lot of uh, support the vendors and whew, wow kind of overwhelming support here so pretty impressed by that now this goes way out into the town and I have so many other uh, people I want to show you some of my best friends here at the Alpine Valley Mushroom Apothecary. Let's go look at what they got going on. So my hand was hurting yesterday. And I just took a little bit of this. Amanita liniment. And boom. And then you accidentally dumped a bucket of it on you. So how did, how did that work out? No crazy side effects. So good there. So tell me a little about Alpine Valley Mushrooms. Yeah, yeah it's our uh, new mushroom company. We're based out of Sawatch. Um, we're cultivating out of the back space of our cafe. Uh, Move over here so I can get your address in yeah, between yeah. your head. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, cultivating out of the back space of the cafe. So we'll be a tent to table mushroom eatery and we'll also be able to make all of our own mushrooms. That's obviously. mind blowing. Wait, say that again for the people. Tent to table. <laughs> tent to table mushroom eatery. Yeah. In the San Luis Valley. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll be cultivating uh, lion's mane, cordyceps, and oysters. Um, we'll be using those. In but what about the competition, steep competition around here? <laughs> I think we need more mushroom growers all together. I think everybody needs to be growing more so mushrooms. So you're successfully growing in what, mushroom tents? Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah, sterile chamber and then uh, sterile flow hood where I do all my inoculation. We're going spore to fruiting body, so we're doing the whole process. And once you start getting good at it, it's like limitless, right? Absolutely. You yeah, just need I mean, that substrate. The implications are massive, yeah. honestly. Um, like between bioremediating and honestly just providing food for people, it's the possibilities are endless with mushrooms. So, what kind of weight do you get in your harvests? Uh, we're trying to pump out at least 10 pounds a week, but uh, that's pretty small for our scale, and we're going to try to pump up from there. And sometimes certain things flush, where you'll get more like 
Totally. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The lion's mane is going to be our main focus. Um, so that's going to be like my bread and butter is the lion's mane. I mean, how does that work? Does it, if it's flushing and it's fruiting, do you just like cut another hole and get more fruit in another yeah, hole? Yeah. So you can go through second flushes, but I think we're going to just mainly stick with our first flushes and compost all of our extra substrate so that people can use them in bioremediation projects. Well, that's crazy. Um, so yeah, those will be composted and then given away to people who are trying to do bioremediation things, like say in their own yard or just trying to cultivate their own medicine. So be more specific when you say bioremediation. Yeah, so, what am I going to do? Uh, so specifically mushrooms are hyper accumulators is what it's known as. Uh, they're extremophiles also, so they can uh, live in really extreme environments, but they hyper accumulate heavy metals and toxins. Um, they can bioremediate areas that we've uh, destroyed ecologically. And um, the implications in there are just extremely massive. Mycelium Running is a great book to get... Uh, like your interest sparked in that category because Paul Stamets uh, is just one of the leaders of the bioremediation projects going on in the world. Um, I think it's something that we can all take on and that's why I said we all need to be growing more mushrooms. Uh, indeed, and eating more. Simply growing and eating more mushrooms will heal the environment and ourselves. So. Right, and they don't even, they could all be magic mushrooms. I just met a guy who said, oh, I try to eat mushrooms every day. <laughs> They're all magic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks for doing what you're doing, guys. Yeah, thank you. And Appreciate mentioning Paul Stamets. Yes. And your, your work is just as important, so. Oh, even though you're not as famous. <laughs> we love you guys. Thanks. Yeah, so I'll take you and show you a little bit. The fair was a bit wider yesterday. And we got some more, like, medicinal tables and herbs and apothecaries. And then the front table here is some of our food. What's up from the ranch? And so we're, this is like a free table where you can get anything you want, seeds. If you need uh, vegetables, come take them. And 